The Hubble Space Telescope has played a major role in space exploration. Its images have helped scientists explore the universe and its galaxies. But now a new study says the telescope's ability to work is being threatened. Researchers say satellites launched by private companies are photobombing the Hubble's photographs and the satellites are ruining the images with bright streaks and curves of light. Mike Massimino, former NASA astronaut, professor of mechanical engineering at Columbia University and senior advisor for space programs at the Intrepid Museum and a friend of our show is here. So, Mike, put, first of all, yep. put very simply, uh, since Hubble launched more than 30 years ago, the mm -hmm. number of satellites has increased dramatically, to put it mildly, right? Hubble was launched in 1990, uh, and the traffic has increased significantly. <laughs> Thousands of satellites have been launched since then for communications, Internet, and so on. Yeah. And, I mean, NASA has said this is not a real short-term problem, yeah. but in the no. long term, what do you think? Well, uh, you're right. In the short term, it's not that big of a deal because the way the Hubble works and the number of satellites, it's not that big of an issue. They can kind of filter out that, that noise. Uh, as we grow, I, you know, there's a couple thousand satellites up there now. They're hoping to grow like hundreds of thousands of satellites in the, in the coming <laughs> years. So it might be more of an issue. But I think it's just something that they'll figure out a way to get around. The, the manufacturers of the satellites realize this is an issue. I think they're going to be looking at different materials, less reflective materials to help with that problem. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It's like years ago, uh, when you look up at the sky, you know, many years ago, they had to get away from cities as cities grew, light pollution. So the ground-based telescopes had to get away from that light, get away from people. Remote areas, high mountaintops. Now we've ex now we've kind of expanded our existence. Now we're not just on the on the surface, but now we're up there in space and low Earth orbit. So you probably have to get above that eventually. Uh, a little inside secret: on my last mission to Hubble, we put. So that's not really a secret, but uh, <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not a secret at all. It's not going to be. But we, we put a docking <laughs> ring on the bottom of the telescope okay. when we last serviced, and that was. Looking forward many years from now, when the telescope's going to re-enter, we could launch a, a, a rocket motor, attach it to the telescope, and guide it back safely through the atmosphere to burn up and not hurt anything. So one option might be to attach a rocket motor. The docking ring is there, and give it a boost and get it above that stuff. But I think this is just kind of a, 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 a result of our progress as people. As we expand our influence away from the planet, we're going to have to figure out ways to, to adapt. All right, Mike Massimino. And I guess when Hubble launched, we didn't really talk about photobombing back then anyway. So. Yeah, this is a whole new thing. Yeah, now it's expanded to space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, Mike, thank you so much. You Good bet. to be with us. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.